Yo, what's going on everybody? You've seen it on screen. You've seen the thumbnail. Today, we're going to be talking about how Modern Warfare is the biggest disappointment in Call of Duty. And before we get into this video, as always, you already know what I'm going to say. Follow the Team Vice there on screen right now. And if you're new to this channel and you like this type of content, I make videos like this Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And uh, yeah, let's get right on into this video. So, Modern Warfare is the biggest disappointment of all Call of Duties. And I say that because the game looks and feels amazing. I think everybody knows that. I think everybody loves the just amazing attention to detail that this game has. The game felt great in the beta. The game felt, uh, in fact, really amazing in the beta. And it still does. The game feels really good. I like the reload animations. Like I like a bunch about it. But you know what I did when the beta came out? I played it, right? I played the beta. And I was like, you know what? This isn't that bad, you know, uh, there's the problems with the M4, there's the red dots on the minimap and stuff like that. But I had a good assumption, I don't know if you can hear my dog. But I had a good assumption that that stuff was going to get fixed, or Infinity War was going to listen to the community. But, nope. Nope, why would that happen, right? Why would Infinity Ward listen to the community when, oh, we can just uh, do nothing about it and uh, say suck it up. So, again, I pre-ordered MW thinking that this was going to be one of the best Call of Duty games of all time. And it ended up being one of the worst CODs of all time. If you were to rank CODs on aesthetic, though, it would be amazing, right? But this gameplay-wise is the worst COD ever. And if Infinity Ward would have listened to us in the in the beta... You know, like, what a beta's for is to release the game early and then, you know, get the community feedback, see what the community likes, what the community doesn't like about the game, and then implement their changes that they want or something. Or maybe you can be like, you know what, it's a beta, The people probably haven't learned what the counterplay to this is yet, you know, we'll leave it for a bit, right? But for the most part, like, you could have done at least something, like, to tone down the footsteps from the beta. That was just ridiculous. You could have added red dots on the minimap. Like, you guys could have done so much to make this COD not such a letdown, man. Like, this game, I pre-ordered with hopes of this game possibly being one of the best Call of Duties we have ever seen. That's why I pre-ordered this game, because I'm like, you know what? Well, that and I kind of wanted Captain Price and Blackout, but I didn't end up getting that because uh, EB Games ended up scamming me, so whatever. But anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. But I pre-ordered this game, right? I pre-ordered this game because I'm like, you know what? I want to play this. I went to launch. I went to release night. I was so excited to hop on the new game. I hopped on the game, and it was like I was playing the beta, but there was more maps. Like... I don't think you could measure just how disappointed I was to find out that everything that we had asked for from the beta, people have made constant, like, beta videos at the end, like, their final thoughts on the beta, like, what they would change and everything, and nothing got implemented. The game is still in beta form, as far as I'm concerned. Like, if I were to give you side-by-side -side gameplay... Of the beta and now using the same gun same attachments same map if i still have beta gameplay which i don't um if i were to put that side by side you would not be able to tell the difference from the beta to the full version of the game the only reason you're able to tell this is the full version of the game is because of the levels and because of well obviously my gold camo but if i give you day one MW versus beta gameplay, you guys wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. Because Infinity Ward did absolutely nothing that we asked for. And it made the game feel just so disappointing. Like, I was, again, pre-ordered this game out of basically hope that this game could have been really good. Because I saw the potential that this game had within it. Ugh. But I saw the potential this game had. And yet... It just isn't being achieved. It's like, and I hate saying the word, oh, this has potential, or he or she has potential. But MW is the definition of a game that has potential to be so much more than it is. It could have been one of the greatest CODs we've ever seen. Looks great. 
feels great. Amazing attention to detail. Great looking maps. But they did absolutely nothing we asked of them in the beta. They completely and utterly let us down, man. And the only reason I'm making this video so late is because this thought just crossed my mind that I was looking back at, I think I randomly stumbled across in YouTube a video about the beta, and I was thinking, and I was looking at the gameplay, and I'm like, this looks the exact same as the new gameplay, right? Like, when I was looking at, even then I decided, you know, I'm going to look at some, you know, like day one first impression gameplay. Same thing. It looks the exact same. They did nothing from the beta, dude. The beta was just a dang selling point for the game to make them think, to make us consumers think, you know what? Maybe they're going to listen to the community and do a bunch of changes. Like, basically, because, you know, when it's a beta, you don't expect the game to be good. You honestly kind of expect it to be bug-ridden, trash, and just, you know. But after the beta, you expect it to be fixed, polished, and, for lack of a better word, a good game. But nope, Infinity War decided not to listen to us after the beta, making this the biggest letdown of all CODs. And I don't think my opinion on this is going to change. I don't think it will. So, um, yeah, unless Infinity Ward starts listening to the community, which I doubt they will, I doubt anybody at Infinity Ward sees this video, and if anybody at Infinity Ward does see this video, especially you, Joe Seacott, get off World of Tanks, get off Payday 2, start listening to the community, and fix your damn game. I, like, I'm so sick and tired of this game, man, and I know I'm playing it right now, that's because I hopped on, because I'm like, you know what, whatever, I, I kind of want to play the newest COD game, you know, it looks great, it feels great, I know I'm gonna get pissed off within three games, and yeah, I only got to play three games, luckily I got gameplay for you guys, whatever, I I'm rambling, <sighs> Joe Seacott, and Ashton Williams, Infinity Ward, listen to the community, fix your game, and uh, yeah, if you guys want MW Fix, drop a like on this video, comment down below so I can get recommended, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all later, peace out everybody, have a great rest of your day, Sub to the channel if you're new here. 80% of you aren't subscribed. Peace. Bye. Later.